Hello, my friend. Welcome to your sleep story. My name is Stephen Dalton. I'm an Irish storyteller, and it's my great privilege to be the voice that you listen to as you go to sleep tonight. I've always loved the thought of what ancient China might have been like. A very distant, a very remote place, a very advanced place, and a fascinating place. And so I got to thinking about what kind of ancient trades would have existed in that world, and who might have worked at night time. And I came up with the Lantern Maker. And so tonight I present to you a very calming, beautiful story about a man who makes lanterns in ancient China. I hope you like it. Okay, let's do the relaxation session now, which will take a few minutes before tonight's sleep story. I'm going to count down from ten to one, and as I do, allow yourself to let go more and more. Ten. Feel the support of the bed beneath you, or the floor, or whatever you lie upon tonight. Really feel that support. And as you do, allow yourself to let go a little more now. And beneath whatever you lie upon, know that the earth is supporting you. Feel the solidity of it. The constantness of it. It is always there. Supporting you. So just let go now. Nine. You are safe. Allow my voice to be an anchor of safety for you tonight. Know that I will not take you anywhere that is unsafe. Allow my voice to be a friend to be a calming guide and see if this feeling of safety can enable you to let go a little bit more now. Eight. Feel into your body. Where are you holding tonight? Maybe it's in your feet. Maybe your lower legs. Maybe your belly. Maybe your chest. Or maybe your face. I know I always hold in my face. See if you can just relax everything now. Seven. The day is done. 
Whatever has been, has been, and whatever will be, will be. Whatever thoughts you may still be having tonight, they are not useful now. Don't fight them. See them for what they are. Thoughts. Allow them to arrive. Even welcome them. And then gently watch them depart. Like leaves on a moonlit river. Or clouds passing. In a moonlit sky. Six. Peace. Lives within you. It is always there. Waiting to be found. See if you can find it tonight. See if you can say hello to that peace. For it is your constant friend. And if you do feel it, where do you feel it? Is it in your head? Or is it in your heart? Five. This is your moment. This is your time. You have nowhere to go. Nowhere to be. Allow that fact to enable you to let go a little more now. To really be in this moment. For perhaps feel a little gratitude now for the shelter you have tonight, for the simple things like your body and your breath for the ability to listen to this sleep story tonight. Three. Begin to engage with your imagination now. Begin to see a beautiful little village far away from all that you know in ancient China and begin to see a little wooden workshop lit only by lanterns and a man working diligently inside. Two. Check in with your body one more time now. See where you might still be holding. And if you are holding anywhere, feel the release. One, completely letting go now, as I tell you tonight's sleep story.
In a time long, long ago, a time so long ago that no one nearly remembers it, before the clamor of cities and the rush of modern life, there was a village nestled deep within the hills of ancient China. Now this village, unnamed by the histories, but known well by those who lived there, of course, was a place of simplicity and peace. The houses were small, built of wood and clay. Their roofs thatched with straw. The paths that wound between them were worn smooth by the passage of many feet over many years. It was a beautiful village, and the people of the village lived in harmony with the land. They farmed the fertile soil, tended to their animals, and drew water from a stream that flowed clear and cool through the valley. Their lives were marked by the rhythms of the seasons. Each day, a quiet reflection of the one before it. The world beyond the hills was distant and unknown to them, and they had little need for it. Their village was their entire universe, and they were content within its boundaries. Now in this ancient world, lanterns held a special place. The village had no other source of light once the sun had set, and so the lanterns were treasured passed down through generations, or crafted with care by those who knew the art. They were more than just a means to see in the dark. They were symbols of safety, of warmth, and of the presence of loved ones nearby. Each evening, as the sun dipped below the horizon, the villagers would light their lanterns, placing them outside their homes as well, or carrying them as they walked through the village, their soft glow a reassurance in the deepening night. It was said that the lanterns had the power to guide lost souls, to show them the way home. They were believed to protect the village from anything in the darkness and their light was a barrier against the unknown. And so, the lanterns were treated with great respect, their flames tended to with care, their construction entrusted only to those who understood their importance. Among these few was Li Wei, 
the village lantern maker. Known for his skill and dedication, Li Wei crafted each lantern with a sense of deep purpose, knowing that his creations would carry light into the lives of others. He was a man who understood the power of the light he worked with and the responsibility that came with it. For in this quiet village, in this time long past, the lanterns meant everything to the villagers. So tonight, let's join Li Wei as the night falls gently over the village and the stars begin to peek through the velvety sky above. In the stillness, we make our way to Li Wei's workshop where he begins his evening ritual. For Li Wei likes to work by night and not by day. It means he can test his work as he goes and he prefers the peace of the night. The workshop itself is small and tucked away at the edge of the village, surrounded by tall bamboo and shaded by the broad leaves of ancient trees. The outside is modest, with wooden walls weathered by time, but there's something inviting about it, a warmth that draws you closer, a sense of purpose that resonates in the air. As we step inside, the first thing we notice is the scent a mixture of fresh bamboo, the earthy aroma of wood, and the faint, soothing fragrance of sandalwood incense that burns in a small holder near the entrance. The air is thick with calm as if the very space itself is a sanctuary from the world outside. The light is soft, coming from lots of little lanterns scattered around the room. The walls of the workshop are lined with shelves each one carefully organized with the tools of Li Wei's trade. There are bundles of thin bamboo strips stacked neatly and ready to be shaped into the frames of his lanterns. Rolls of rice paper, delicate and nearly translucent, are carefully stored in wooden boxes, their surfaces untouched, waiting to be transformed into something more. In one corner, there are pots of ink and brushes of various sizes, each one handled with care over the years their bristles worn smooth, 
from countless strokes. The centerpiece of the workshop is a large, sturdy table, its surface polished from years of use. And on it, Li Wei has laid out his current project, a new lantern, its frame already taking shape under his skilled hands. The table is cluttered, but in an organized way, with small tools scattered about, knives for cutting bamboo, twine for binding, and small pots filled with various pigments. Everything has its place, and there's a sense of order that speaks to Li Wei's dedication and care in his work. In the corner, there's a small stove, its fire burning low but steady, providing warmth to the workshop. Above it, a kettle hums quietly, Steam curling up towards the ceiling, adding to the cozy atmosphere. This is a place of creation, of quiet focus, where the outside world fades away, leaving only the sounds of the night and the rhythmic movements of Li Wei as he brings light into being. Li Wei stands quietly for a moment, gathering his thoughts and centering himself before he begins. The night outside is peaceful. The stillness seeping into the workshop, where only the soft crackle of the stove and the sound of the crickets outside can be heard. His hands, steady and sure, Move to the table where the bamboo strips are laid out. Each strip has been carefully selected, chosen for its strength and flexibility. Li Wei picks one up, feeling the smooth surface under his fingers appreciating the natural grain that runs through it. He takes a small, sharp knife from the table and begins to shape the bamboo. His movements are slow, deliberate, as he shaves away thin slivers of wood, adjusting the curve of the strip to match the vision in his mind. The blade glides through the bamboo with practiced ease, the soft, scraping sound blending with the quiet of the night. As each strip is shaped, he sets it aside, his fingers moving over the wood one last time to ensure it's just right. Next, 
Li Wei reaches for a length of twine, strong yet thin, perfect for binding the bamboo strips together. He begins to assemble the frame of the lantern, his hands moving methodically as he ties each strip into place. The bamboo bends easily under his touch, forming the delicate, curved shape that will soon hold the light. Li Wei ties each knot with care, making sure the frame is sturdy and balanced, able to withstand the gentle breezes that will one day carry it through the night. For this lantern has a special purpose that I'll tell you about later. With the frame complete, Li Wei turns his attention to the rice paper. He unrolls a sheet the paper almost glowing in the soft light of the lantern above. It is thin, fragile, but in Li Wei's hands, it becomes something more. A very important part of the lantern, ready to transform from a simple sheet into a vessel of light. He carefully measures and cuts the paper, his movements precise, each cut straight and clean, the edges smooth and even. Once the paper is ready, Li Wei begins to attach it to the frame. He works slowly, using a small brush dipped in a thin layer of paste to secure the edges. The paper stretches gently over the bamboo, taking shape as it clings to the frame soft and delicate. Li Wei smooths out any creases with the back of his hand, ensuring that the surface is flawless, that the light within will shine through clearly, without distortion. The lantern begins to take form, its structure now apparent, but it is still a work in progress and there are still details to be added, small touches that will make this lantern unique, just as each one he has made before has been. He reaches for a pot of ink, dipping a fine brush into the rich, dark liquid, and with steady hands, he begins to paint onto the surface of the paper, creating intricate patterns that naturally flow from his arm. The brush glides across the rice paper, leaving behind symbols and motifs that carry deep significance. Each stroke of the brush is a prayer, a wish for peace, for remembrance, for the souls who have gone before. 
as Li Wei paints. The lantern begins to take on a life of its own. The patterns seem to move with the flicker of the lantern's light. The ink dries quickly, settling into the paper, becoming part of the lantern's fabric. Li Wei steps back for a moment, observing his work. The faintest hint of satisfaction in his eyes. But he is not finished yet. There is one final touch to add. Something that will make this lantern truly ready for its journey into the night sky. He carefully selects a small piece of red silk. The silk is cut into thin ribbons, which he attaches to the bottom of the lantern, allowing them to hang freely, ready to catch the wind. These ribbons, too, have meaning. They represent the ties that bind the living to the ancestors, a connection that stretches across time and space, holding memories close, even as the lantern rises away. Outside, the village is quiet, but there is a sense of anticipation in the air, as if the very earth knows what is to come. For tonight is not just any night, it is a night of memory, of celebration, and of light. As Li Wei places the finished lantern on the table, he allows himself a moment to reflect. This lantern, with its delicate frame and intricate designs, is just one of many he has crafted for this night. For over the past few weeks, Li Wei has worked tirelessly, knowing that every household in the village will be relying on him to create the lanterns they will use to honor their ancestors. It is a responsibility that he carries with quiet pride understanding the importance of his role in this deeply rooted tradition. Each lantern that Li Wei has made is unique, designed with the particular family in mind. He has carefully selected the materials, chosen the symbols, and painted the patterns that reflect the individual stories of each villager's ancestors. As the night deepens and the moon climbs higher into the sky, Li Wei steps outside his workshop carrying the last of the lanterns that he has prepared. The cool night air greets him as he carefully places the final lantern beside the others, which are arranged in a neat row along the edge of the path 
that leads through the village. Each lantern sits patiently in the darkness, their frames glowing softly in the moonlight, waiting for the villagers who will come to collect them. Li Wei steps back, taking a moment to admire the sight. Rows of lanterns, each one unique, each one holding a different story, yet all connected by the same purpose. It is a sight that fills him with a quiet sense of fulfillment, knowing that his work will soon light up the night. To be a lantern maker is a tradition that has been in Li Wei's family for many generations. And Li Wei carries the light of his forefathers with a great sense of pride. Then, Li Wei sees a figure emerging from the shadows, walking slowly down the path. It is the first villager, a woman whose face he recognizes as one who comes to him every year, her expression soft and reverent. She approaches the row of lanterns, her steps measured, as if she is moving through sacred ground. And with a gentle bow, she selects her lantern holding it carefully, as if it were something fragile and precious. As she turns to leave, another figure appears, then another, and then another, one by one. The villagers emerge from their homes, walking quietly toward the line of lanterns. There is no need for words. The ritual is known to all. They move slowly, reverently, each one choosing the lantern that has been made for them. Some pause to offer a silent prayer. Others simply bow their heads. But all take their time. And with their lanterns in hand, the villagers begin to gather at the center of the village, where a large, open space awaits them. The village elder stands quietly at the head of the gathering, watching as his people slowly arrive. The elder nods to Li Wei as he approaches, a silent gesture of thanks and respect for the work that the lantern maker has done. When all have gathered, they begin to walk together in silence, their lanterns lighting the path ahead. The destination is a place known to everyone in the village. A sacred spot where the ground is soft and the trees stand tall and ancient. 
It is a place where the villagers have come for generations to honor their ancestors, to remember those who have passed on. The walk is slow and deliberate. The night air filled with the soft glow of lanterns and the quiet footsteps of the villagers. Li Wei walks among them, his heart full, knowing that soon the lanterns will rise into the sky, carrying with them the hope and memories of all who have come before. The villagers gather then in a quiet circle at the sacred spot, their faces illuminated by the lanterns they hold. Li Wei stands among them his own lantern in hand. The village elder steps forward and he raises his hand in a silent signal. This is a moment of profound stillness where the past and the present seem to converge Li Wei glances around at the faces of the villagers, seeing in each of them a deep respect for this moment. The elder nods, and with that simple gesture, the villagers know it is time. One by one, they lower their lanterns, holding them close to the ground as they prepare to release them into the air. There is a collective intake of breath, and then, as if moved by an unseen hand, they all let go at once. The lanterns rise slowly at first, their frames illuminated from within by the gentle flames. The villagers watch, their eyes following the lanterns as they ascend, the light growing smaller and smaller as the lanterns drift higher into the night sky. There is something almost magical about this sight. Hundreds of tiny points of light rising together, carrying with them the hopes and prayers of the village. The lanterns float upward, their light flickering softly as they are carried by the wind. The night sky, once dark and vast, is now filled with the warm glow of the lanterns, a sea of light that seemingly stretches on forever. The villagers watch in silence their hearts full, 
knowing that their prayers have been sent, that their ancestors are watching from above. As the lanterns rise higher and higher, becoming mere dots of light against the sky, the villagers stand together, united in this human moment of remembrance and connection. And Li Wei feels a deep sense of peace wash over him, knowing that his work has helped to bring this moment to life that he has played a part in something much greater than himself. As the last of the lanterns disappears into the night sky, the villagers slowly begin to disperse exchanging quiet words of farewell. The atmosphere is peaceful, a shared sense of accomplishment and connection lingering in the air. Li Wei stands for a moment longer, watching as his friends and neighbors walk back to their homes, the glow of the lanterns, now only a memory in the darkened sky. He feels a sense of satisfaction, knowing that this night, like so many before it, has brought his village together in a meaningful way. Li Wei turns and walks the familiar path back to his workshop, where the soft glow of a single lantern inside welcomes him. He takes his time preparing for bed, moving through his routine with the same care and attention that he gives to his lantern making. He pours a small basin of water, washing his hands and face, the coolness of the water, refreshing after the long day. Next, he carefully folds his work clothes, placing them on a small stool beside the bed, and changes into a soft, loose robe that allows him to move freely. Before lying down, Li Wei takes a moment to sit at the edge of his bed, his eyes closed in quiet reflection. He thinks about the day that has passed, the lanterns that have been sent into the sky and the memories that they carry with them. He feels a deep sense of peace, knowing that his work has brought light into the world. And with that thought, he lies down on his bed, closes his eyes, 
and says good night to another day, a special day in the life of this village, a village that history forgot long, long ago in ancient China. <laughs>